breathing. Not only is it essential for our survival, but it has a direct impact on our nervous system. Have you ever had times when you feel anxious, emotional? What is the first thing that your friend would say to you in that type of situation? Calm down. And the term calm, first thing I think of is deep slow breathing. Different breathing techniques are used in different situations and for different purposes. For example, inpatient. Deep breathing exercises and inspiratory holds actually help to encourage the reopening of smaller collapsed airways for patients with impaired gas movement. Here's another example. When you are lying down, flat, coughing in bed, finding it difficult to breathe, what well, may be one of the things that you can actually do to make the breathing a bit easier? Some people actually prefer to sit up in that case. It is actually easier because positioning directly affects and changes how air can reach different parts of our lungs. Gaseous exchange actually occurs at the site of the alveoli through the capillaries. And there are two types of gases being exchanged and they are oxygen and carbon dioxide. So therefore, when we are discussing about gas impairment, we have to consider which one we are actually referring to. Objective assessment. When it comes to objective assessment, there are several components that CR physios also look at, starting with observation. What they're looking for in observation is any signs of respiratory distress, excess accessory muscle use, clubbing fingers, scars, wounds, and also attachments. Then they move on to looking at the vitals, which also include the SpO2 level, cough tests, auscultation, palpation in addition to chest x-ray. And one other component that they also look at is the arterial blood gas because it actually informs whether the patient is actually suffering from respiratory or metabolic acidosis or alkalosis. Positioning. So regularly when we actually in a seated position, air is able to reach the bottom of our lungs as gravity is at work. To better describe this, the lung is actually separated into two individual regions. So the upper region is also known as the non-dependent region, and the bottom region is also known as the dependent region. In terms of the apical basal relationship, there's actually a higher ventilation and perfusion rate at the basal portion of the lungs. And this is due to two reasons. First of all, the amount of alveoli sacs available in the area, and also the compliance rate which actually makes it easier to expand. As you can see from the balloon example, a balloon that is not fully inflated is much more easier to expand than it is compared to the balloon that is already inflated, therefore resulting in a lower VQ ratio. And we can also do deep breathing exercises and encourage basal expansion in a seated position. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more.